Ori and the Blind Forest hit with a bang back in September of 2019. It received scores in the high 80s and 90s, making it both a critical and commercial success. Moon Studios followed it up with a sequel, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which also enjoyed great success as well. I played through it from start to finish on my Steam Deck OLED model, and that game can really show how good HDR can be when implemented properly. And if you've ever wondered why they call it Ori in the Blind Forest, well, it has everything to do with the HDR implementation here. But in order to show you, I'm going to have to turn off all the lights. So let's go ahead and do that now. You ready? Three, two, one. All right, you're about to see why it's called the Blind Forest. Get ready. Oh. Oh. It's unfortunate that most games do a really shoddy implementation of HDR, either giving lackluster results or making the game actually look worse than just turning the HDR off. In the case of the two Ori games, holy crap. They make HDR look like the best thing ever. And thank you, sweetie, for the gift of the Steam Deck OLED, an amazing Christmas gift. Thank you so much. Moon Studios is currently working on No Rest for the Wicked, which is currently in Steam Early Access. But why am I talking about all this? Is this about Moon Studios games? No, it's not. This is about Moon Studios director Thomas Mailer and some comments he made speaking out against wokeness in cancel culture. Who the f is this guy? Hey, who the f are you? Huh? I'm Mark Fox, otherwise known as the Pantless Wonder, and this is your home for rational, reasonable, real gamers. Let's roll the intro. You can't break a man the way you break a dog or a horse. The harder you beat a man, the taller he stands. In an extremely rare move for developers nowadays, Thomas Mailer took a harsh and firm stand against the insanity of modern wokeness and, in specific, cancel culture and a response on Twitter also known as X. In response to the anti-gamer propagandist Maurice Weber, who works for the anti-gamer propaganda outlet GameStar, a German outlet, Mailer had this to say on Twitter. I already know I might get myself into trouble once again by posting this, but I just replied to Maurice Weber 42, a German journalist who is affiliated with the German outlet GameStar. I do think it's especially important these days that we always remind ourselves to try to keep an open mind and try to understand even those who think differently than we do. Here's my response to him complaining about people who are apparently fed up by woke culture. I think it all makes sense, Maurice. This is basically a backlash against cancel culture and similar phenomena because everyone has had enough of that nonsense. I'd suggest you take a more nuanced view, especially since you position yourself as a journalist. Yet, you often display a narrow-minded attitude and don't seem to question what's actually going on. And that is something we should expect from a journalist. Just because you personally haven't been affected by cancel culture doesn't mean there hasn't been a lot of foolishness happening and it's still ongoing, and it's only a matter of time before it impacts you too. Mailer taking a firm stance against woke insanity and cancel culture is a powerful and positive thing, and I'd love to see more of this from more developers. It's always refreshing when we see someone who's working in the gaming space who actually cares about gamers in video games and isn't here to push their insanity. I don't know about you, but I think most of us are getting tired of the radical left-wing agenda being pushed, and instead, we'd like to see a focus on games. You know, video games. So in honor of Thomas Mailer and his comments against wokeness and cancel culture, I'm gonna take a sip from the woven goblet of enemy blood. Ah! ah, delicious. Here's to you, Thomas Mailer. Did I ever mention that I have a sci-fi novel on Amazon called New Tokyo, and you can get it in paperback, Kindle, or Kindle Unlimited? I think I've mentioned it once or twice before in videos. If I have mentioned it, please let me know down below. I'd hate to be repeating myself. And as you might expect, Thomas Mailer's comments did not go without opposition. You see, anti-gamer Philip Weber, narrative director at CD Projekt Rainbow, decided he had to come out and say something negative. Here's what little Philly Weber had to say. I do remember when you were quite happy to publicly shit on us a while ago, so please make sure to apply those principles you ask of others for yourself as well. 
laugh out loud. As if Cyberpunk 2077 didn't release in a completely broken state. Is there anyone here going to argue that Cyberpunk 2077 wasn't an absolute failure of a launch? It is arguably the biggest launch failure, the biggest launch flop in modern gaming history. So I don't think that particular comment by Thomas Mailer was the one to criticize, Philly. You know what did not release Broken? Magician on the NES. When this game released, it was completely finished. Zero bugs, zero glitches, no problems. This thing came out and it was Flawless magician on the NES. This is the example to follow, CD Projekt Rainbow. Weber also accused Mailer of, quote, going extreme, unquote. Pot, meat, cattle. Now, I know they're both supposed to be black to make this old saying work, but imagine these are both black, okay? And imagine this is not an electric kettle, but an old-fashioned black kettle that goes on the stovetop. And if you're not familiar with this old saying, it's the pot calling the kettle black, which has nothing to do with race, by the way. Look it up. A special shout out and thank you to Super Real Gamer Drunken Dwarf and Real Gamer for Neelius Nolan. And you too should consider becoming a channel member. You can join for as little as $1.99. Click that join button now. Do it. Do it now. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. I hope you've already caressed the like button. If you haven't, do so now. Make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the notification bell icon. And as always, for Fox sake, stay real, keep playing, and never forget, yesterday's tomorrow is today's today. Things suck!